programme this week, the best of the action from the London ride, we talk to ski club sponsored riders the Machen Brothers and the return of Relentless Freeze Festival. Hello and welcome to the Ski Club Snowcast. Now at last week's Ski and Snowboard show, Saturday saw the 8th instalment of the London ride. Here are just some of the highlights. The event showcases the best of British talent with the Big Air this year featuring a hip landing and attracting the crowds once again. We had a great final and uh, we ended up taking the top four riders uh, through to a super final to let them battle out for the podium spots. The top four riders were George Walton, Andy Matthew, James Machen and Murray Buckman. Well, as ever, a must-see event at the show. And congratulations to Ski Club sponsored rider James Machen on his second place. After the event, we cut up with James and brother Rob, also sponsored by us. We asked them how it feels to have their strongest event, Ski Halfpipe, added to the 2014 Winter Olympic programme. Well, it wasn't so much a surprise be just because um, it was already expected in 2010. So we were predicting it was going to happen then, but unfortunately it didn't. So we were kind of thinking that if it didn't happen to 2010, it would happen 2014 anyway. So we're just happy now this finally deserved as an Olympic event because it should have been, in my mind, ages ago, just on how good an event it is. Um, I'm just trying to keep my feet on the ground. It's three years away, um, but I know it's going to come quick. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've got a really good opportunity now um, to just go for it and train really hard. Um, the GB um, on the GB team, we've got, we've got a coach now, we've got a place to stay, a um, place to train, so we're going yeah. out to Breckenridge this year. Um, and then we'll start qualifying next year. Yeah. Bit, so yeah. it's, really good. it's all set up. It's all starting to take place, so finally, it's good. Being the younger brother as well, I always look up to James, and obviously he's like a little bit ahead of me, so I'm always trying to catch you up. But I'm now saying we've gone back and forth, give each other coaching. And because we know each other so well, like I can give James like coaching that most coaches couldn't give just because I spent my whole skiing career with him in the same, same way with me. So it works well and uh, I think it's improved us both a lot over the years around. That's um, a massively. Yeah, massively. I mean, the ski club um, really helped with, um, with the vlog during the season. And uh, we send that to our sponsors and that, and that just links it all together really. yeah. and gets the exposure as well. Yeah. That's probably the main way about it because Exposure is such a massive thing that it gets you obviously well known, it gets you opportunities to get on international stages and then once you get those chances you can do well in competitions and it all kind of, it's probably like the ground base that you really need to have a good career. Well a dislocated shoulder earlier in the summer ruled Rob out of competing but we wish him a speedy recovery and all the best to both of them for this season. Next, a lecture series for those of you thinking about heading into the off-piste. The North Face Avalanche Awareness Talks in conjunction with the Ski Club and Snow and Rock are perfect for first timers and those looking to improve their backcountry skills. In the mountains, no matter what you do, there's always risks involved. If it's not safe, like, just don't even ride it. It's not worth it. Just the amount of force and power, unimaginable. Safety is the number one priority. Live to ride another day. Ski Club members can attend the lectures at a discounted price of £5 and anyone can buy a ticket through our online shop. The link is at the bottom of your screen. Well, two of the three London dates have already sold out, so get online so you don't miss out. And all proceeds from the talks will go to Disability Snow Sports UK. Time now to find out how the snow conditions are around the world. So here's our George with a roundup. Last week, 
heavy snowfall across large parts of the Alps dramatically improved the quality of snow and amount of terrain on offer at many areas, with the majority of our featured resorts enjoying clear skies and good quality groomed runs. In Switzerland, Zermatt and Sass Fay have had beautiful sunshine for skiers to enjoy the scenery and some great early season riding. Blue skies have prevailed over most of our featured Austrian resorts, with Mutal, Stubai and Hintertux increasing the amount of terrain open to their guests. Our featured French resorts, Teen and Le Deux Alps, have had cloudier skies, but still offer good quality groom slopes on their glaciers. In the Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand's Tarot is the only remaining area operating for skiing, with closing day set for early November. The winter weather is well and truly making its way northwards, with fresh snowfall across North America. In Canada, it has snowed down to the valley in Whistler, and in Colorado, Loveland and Arapaho Basin are now open for snow sports with great early season conditions. Thanks George, and great to see things shaping up nicely across Europe. Well, we're nearly out of time for this week's snowcast. We hope you enjoyed it. The Ski Club will be at the Ski and Board Show in Birmingham this weekend. Do come and say hello if you're going to be there. Next week, we'll be reporting from the Relentless Freeze Festival, also happening this weekend. And if you're heading down to Battersea, here's a little teaser to whet your appetite. Bye!